Alrighty, hello, my name is Luis Hernandez Sorpresa. I'm going to be a senior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science, but enough about me. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to be discussing today, we're going to be discussing motors. So we're going to be talking about the normal steering and as well individual motors, so you guys can know how to do both. Uh, what is this? Okay. So, first, um, let's set up a variable. So, a lot of this concept you guys should be knowing already from previous like programming, just like the normal EV3, drag and drop, kind of all these concepts. So, we're going to make a variable. Um, I like to call my legs because it looks like it has little legs, the robots. So I'm gonna call it legs, and then uh, there we go. Okay, and then so I'm gonna call it legs. It's gonna be equals to mm, motor pair. And then it's gonna be and then so since my robot's connected, it tells me exactly which ones I'm using. So I'm using C and D. And then, um, so now that we actually have it paired, we're like, okay, how do we make it move? So for example, let's suppose you just want them to move forever. So it'd be legs dot. So remember, right here, we're calling the function, so it'll be start. So we're calling the function start. So now if we run it, this thing should go forever and ever and ever. Because you just tell the motor to start. So you just can see. So now, um, let's suppose you guys are like, okay, mm, it goes it goes a little bit too fast. I just want it to go forever, but not exactly at that speed. So we could do legs dot set underscore default underscore speed. Then we're gonna put that one at let's say fifty. So all of these are functions that I'm calling. So exactly what it's called. Let's test with this. So as you guys see, now it goes much slower. Because, so the default speed is normally at 100, but I actually made it go at, at only 50 now, which is really cool. So, now, okay, so, but now, realistically, you're not always going to want the motors to be moved forever and never, never, not very efficient. So, we we'll call the function move, and then uh, we could say, I want it to move forward. So, as you guys know, you guys can move in seconds, rotations, degrees, inches, centimeters. Mm, I believe I'm forgetting some, but let's get into this. Okay, and degrees. I think I already said degrees. But so we're gonna go to mm, we're gonna do it by seconds first, and then so as you guys know, for example, you guys are steering, as you guys remember, and just the classroom environment you guys are able to like just use the, like the little wheel to like okay I want to go to right or left however right here it's a little bit different you actually have to call a variable called steering and then for example the default to go straight is zero but I want to turn 90 degrees so it's gonna turn 90 degrees but however right now it's going really fast so as you guys remember I removed the line to set the default speed so now I'm actually I could set the speed right here speed is equal to say 30 so now we're going to run it as you can see the only one of these as you can see that turned for three seconds and it and it turned to the right very cool right but here's the thing you guys don't actually need any of this you guys could just go to 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 do three seconds so you guys could actually go and it goes straight because there's no steering, there's nothing. So it's just gonna go three seconds. But however, now you could also do rotations. Rotations, okay. So one, two, three. You see, very cool. And then as well, you guys could do inches. So inches will be IN for inches. So this is, this is gonna go really quick because it's only moving three inches. And then now you could also do centimeters so let's do centimeters even smaller because centimeters is much smaller than inches not much smaller but smaller so it's seconds rotations oh so you guys could move by degrees so let's say 90 degrees so what this is going to do is that this is going to move the motor 90 degrees so it's going to be very useful so things degrees so you guys see it didn't compile so you see it went so it just went exactly 90 degrees as you guys can see if this was set this would have just started at zero which we could do 
um, if I remember the code for it. But we'll get into that when we get into the rigid motors. So that's just another thing. For example, yes could also just do, for example, speed is equal to 10. Oh, as well to go backwards, speed is equal to 100. So that will make the robot actually go backwards. So you guys need to pay like um, really good attention to all of this because you don't actually need to always include. The one thing you do need to include is degrees and obviously like what what time is 30 seconds 90 degrees whichever the case is because or else it doesn't really know what it's doing but you could always set the speed and then if you want to you could do steering but you don't have to but so basically you don't even really need to include everything you could just include whatever you want to do you want to make it really specific that's that's this is pretty much how you do it okay and then so as well as you guys i I already told you guys it's legs the start so this will make it go forever but however at some point you want to stop it it's gonna find it shocking but it stopped <laughs> so that's pretty much that's just pretty much normal steering just normal very basic stuff so as you guys know but however you could actually get much more complicated with this so now let's suppose you're like okay mm. So as oh as I showed you guys the default set default by speed so all of these are functions that you guys could look like at, at in the documentation it's just gonna be much much easier to look at right there instead of me going over everything it's just very simple straightforward but now let's suppose I only want to do one so I'm only gonna do I'm gonna call it leg because not legs anymore so now we're gonna go to leg is equal to motor and then it's gonna be C and then leg dot so I could do run underscore four degrees so what this will do so as you guys know over there we were checking okay so let's do just an example obviously I'm not gonna include this in the code um, move mm, 90 degrees okay so these two are essentially the equivalent except this is this would be moving two motors while this would only be moving one motor okay so these two are exactly they, they will do exactly the same thing so let's let's do it obviously it's gonna go really fast because it's there we go I only moved one and then as well you could also use like other functions like run for seconds so this is a 30 there we go so as well um okay, okay so you guys could also do power for example so as you guys know speed and power two whole different things so we have to start underscore at underscore power so this was so for example i could only do 50 percent power so let's get it so you guys see that's 50 percent power um, okay so as you guys know it goes forever because it's just a start so there's actually nothing telling it to stop as well another thing that you guys could do for example you're like okay i want to know what what the current speed is at for example you could set up a variable called i don't know data because that you're collecting it's called leg um, dot get underscore speed so what this would do this would actually call that function get the current speed that it's that it's at the robot and then just return the value to it and get it saved to data and you just could use that variable for anything you just could display it to your screen you just could set it to another for example I could do so let's suppose Mm, okay, so let's suppose we go to we set this to leg underscore set underscore default underscore speed and then let's say we do it to 30 and then so this will say that the current speed is 30 correct so this should technically return 30 so I could be I could do a um wait for seconds and then this would do I could plug in data right here and then well, all this is gonna do is that once this runs this is gonna 
the program is going to wait for 30 seconds. So, for example, I could just copy this. I could, I, could, I could copy this. But the issue with this one is that since it's an infinite loop, it's going to go on forever and ever and ever and ever. So, you guys need to consider that as well. And then, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much just how you would do it. Just kind of catch the value and just kind of use it like that. And then, so, it's just very, very cool, very just simple stuff to teach you guys how to just set it up just kind of like how to move individual motors as well if you guys want to know just what functions are in here what you guys could actually call it there's actually a little menu right here so you guys could go to for example mm, you guys go to motor pairs and then right here it shows you guys all of the functions that you guys could be using as well it shows you guys how how to do it what it returns how to set it up obviously some stuff is kind of more complicated than others but it could be very much useful so Thank you for watching. I really hope this was useful and good luck.